What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the Tundra Dew 34 YouTube channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Make sure you hit that subscribe button notification bell so you know every time I put up a new video and or a live stream, I'd love to have a great conversation with you about Toyota Tundras. Now, for those of you that are still trying to buy a 2021 brand new Toyota Tundra, your time is definitely running out. They stopped making the Tundra down in San Antonio at TMMTX, where the Tundra is built proudly right here in the United States of America. Uh, but there still is a little bit of time here and there to find what is hitting the lots. Now, I just did a video yesterday. We saw my local dealership. There's not much there. There's one new 2021 and a bunch of used ones. I believe one of the used ones was 2021. I can't remember. Just go back and check that video out. But these dealerships are getting their last batches of these trucks. Now, there is one particular Tundra I have been talking about for a very long time. And I actually have a little buyer's remorse that I didn't get it. Uh, last time I got a Tundra. Don't get me wrong, I love my Army Green 2020 TRD Pro, but I would have loved to have tested this truck over a few years waiting for the next gen just to see if it is as good as advertised. And I am talking about the SX Package Tundra. Now the reason I'm so high on this Tundra is the fact that it's everything we've asked for from Toyota. They definitely listened in this case. It is completely body color all the way around. It has the older TRD Pro wheel on it. It has an all-terrain tire. It is debadged. The only thing it says on it on the back is SX. That's it. 4x4, crew max or double cab. These trucks are amazing. A lot of people have been asking for a truck lower in the trim level that doesn't have all the chrome all over it, but still has a few options here or there. And the SX is that truck. Obviously, we want the look of the TRD Pro without paying $56,000, $57,000 before chip shortage markup. So today, I'm gonna to show you there is one available at a dealership close to me called Fred Beans Toyota in Flemington, New Jersey. That's actually where my wife and I bought our vehicles, my 2020 Army Green TRD Pro and her 2020 Forerunner TRD Off-Road Premium. So as of right now making this video, it is available. It is Monday morning. It's probably about Monday around noon, to be honest. Uh, so I will put the link down in the description. If there is no link, I will put the dealership's phone number if you want to call it in, email too. Uh, but there will be something in the description for this truck. So let's check out some of the pictures we have of this truck, plus some pricing information for you as well. So we'll start from the beginning of the pictures. My buddy John up there, who is my salesman, sent me. Thank you very much, John. I really appreciate it. And look at this thing. Just from this first shot, you could see exactly what I'm talking about. It is just beautiful. Body color, everything. You get the Toyota emblem on the front. You don't get the Heritage Toyota, of course. Let's not forget Toyota Safety Sense is available through all of the trims of the Toyota Tundra. This has the halogen headlights with the LED strip on the bottom that used to be available on the Platinums before 2018. You get fog lights with this as well. As I was talking to you, those are the TRD Off-Road slash TRD Pro wheels. For TRD Off-Road, it's just missing the silver plate in front. And obviously when I say TRD Pro wheels, I'm talking about the wheels from 15 to 17 Pro, not the current BBS ones we have now. But the overall shot, it's a beautiful truck, all black. Like I said, no badging, nothing. This thing is fresh off the truck. Uh, they still got the cover on the hood and the cover on the wheels and everything. Uh, side steps were added to this one. As you can see, even the mirror covers and the end caps, everything is body color. Great front shot of the truck. It's a great place to start if you don't want to have all of the off-road stuff on it and you want to do your own build, but you could save a little money by having the look right up front. Here's a better shot of the Bridgestone Dueler tires, an all-terrain tire, and those wheels once again. It has a nice stance to it, just like every other regular Tundra. It doesn't have a lift like the TRD, excuse me, TRD Pro or anything like that, um, but you can add things to these trucks, and that is the best part about the Tundra. As you can see up in the corner there, the handles are a flat black matching the body 100%. Obviously, it's midnight black metallic, but it all flows together really nicely. Now, here's the shot of the rear. It doesn't have blind spot monitoring or parking sensors or anything like that. I mean, this is a lower level trim Tundra with the look of something very, very expensive. All it has is SX. That's the only badge you're going to see on it. It has the Tundra inlay in the back over there. Um, and this truck is a four by four, uh, but body color all the way around the truck. You get your tow package with it and everything. This is a less is more approach at the Tundra. And I know a lot of you like that about the Tundra. 
uh, you know, the lower trims is you just want a truck to do the job, but this one gives you a little bit of the look as well. This one comes with the spray in bed liner from Toyota with the Tundra logo all the way up there in the front. And the great news is that back window, even this truck is a lower trim Tundra, does actually still go all the way down on this crew max. So it is not a stationary back window. You will get the airflow everybody talks about with the crew max cab with this back window on this SX as well. As we look in the driver compartment here, you will see you get the floor mount and shifter. This isn't, you know, a column shifter or anything like that. This is the upgraded, uh, you know, seating position. You get the bucket seats, you get the big center console, everything like that. Um, it is cloth interior, it is not leather, but if you wanted leather, you could always go to a place like Catskins or something uh, and get yourself something after the fact. Uh, but at the end of the day, the cloth seats aren't bad. So again, you're saving a lot of money here, so there's gotta be some things we don't have. But overall, the look is great and the truck does the job. And the best part at this point about Toyota until we go to the next gen, the 5.7 V8 is the only engine available. So that's the premier engine of the current generation. You're getting it even in this trim level, of course. Here's another shot of the seats there for you. Um, good looking seats, good looking interior. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't like the gray headliner, but everything flows together nicely in this truck, especially with the black exterior. Nice looking truck. Here's a shot of the infotainment system. Uh, you get your standard climate control down there. Uh, you don't get the digital one that's available in the limited end up TRD Pro as well. But hey, it does the job. It'll keep you cool. It'll keep you warm. You're not going to get heated or cooled seats in this. This is, like I said, the less is more approach as far as the trim level goes. And here is your big back seat. It is not that hard of a job to do to install some under seat storage. So go check it out if you're, uh, if you're needing that. And here we go with the sticker here. So this starts out, let me pull in. This is an SR5 Crew Max is what it starts out as. But some of the add-ons here, and I will obviously you know, uh, zoom in here. So if you wanna pause and look at all the standard equipment, go ahead. But some of the things they added, the SX package, this is what it gives you. It upgrades to 18 inch split five spoke black alloy wheels, 10 way power adjustable driver seat, four way adjustable front passenger seat, adds color keyed exterior styling. So that's awesome. This truck also gives you all weather liners and door sill protection, uh, power tailgate lock, which I know a bunch of you like, tube step in black, spray on bed liner, black chrome exhaust tip. So that'll really tie the look in together uh, as well. And the price on the sticker here is 46,261. So think of it this way. You definitely are missing some equipment when it comes to a TRD Pro Tundra. Um, you know, you're missing things like the moonroof, the leather, the heated seats, stuff like that. But what you are getting is $10,000 less off of the sticker. I paid 56 and change for my 2020 TRD Pro. This is 46,261. It has the look, it has the engine. It could still tow. It could do everything you want it to do. You're just giving up on a couple of luxury features. Probably the smartest thing Toyota ever did. Now, as far as a markup and if this dealer is putting a markup on their trucks, you'll have to click the link and check for yourself because I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, but 46261 is the sticker. So even if there is a markup, you're starting out in a nice position for this Tundra. So you'll have to let me know what you think. Do you agree with me about the SX package? If you are someone who owns an SX Tundra and you would like to chime in and let us know what you think, please do. Like I said, I think it is probably the best trim Toyota ever offered for the Tundra. Shouldn't say trim, I should say package on a trim. Strictly for the fact that you can get that more current look, less chrome, a lot of us don't like chrome anymore, uh, on a truck that's not $60,000 or high 50s, 46 is an amazing price. If you get it in a double cab, it's even cheaper, but you'll still get that look. And like I said, and I want to continue to point this out, 5.7 liter V8 available through all the trims because it's the only engine available for the Tundra right now. Um, you know, and that's a big thing when it comes to buying a truck where a few years ago, you would have to get the four six or even longer ago, you'd have to get the six cylinder engine to get the look you want, but you won't have the engine power. This still tows everything the Tundra can tow do everything the Tundra can do. And it is four by four, this truck right here. So a great truck, an absolutely fantastic package. I hope some way, somehow it gets into the next gen and we still have that great price for a more current look, but all the stuff we want and some of the stuff, I should say all the stuff we need and some of the stuff we want. Less is more. A lot of you feel that way and this may be the truck for you. So let me know what you think about the SX Tundra. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Don't forget if you're interested in this truck and it is still available, 
uh, we can go down in the description. There will be a link there to check out at Fred Beans Toyota. John, once again, thank you for sending in the pictures and information. I appreciate it. Until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at TundraDew34. TundraDew34 at gmail.com. You guys have a great day. Be safe and be well.